Hi guys, how are you all? Hope you all are doing fine. My name is Angida Vinod. I am from class 10 uh, from Riyadh. So today I am going to explain the lesson polynomials, finding zeros of the polynomial. We all know that the term polynomials means many terms. They are classified as linear polynomial, quadratic polynomial and cubic polynomial. Let's take a look. So this is linear polynomial, this is quadratic polynomial and this is cubic polynomial. The letter we see here, that is x, is known as variable because it varies every time. The, let, the number we see before x is known as constant or coefficient. The highest power here is 1. So therefore it's a linear polynomial. The highest power here is 2. Therefore it's a quadratic polynomial. The highest power here is 3. So therefore it's a cubic polynomial. So now let's take a look for the linear polynomial. Everything here seems pretty normal, right? Except for this x. So let's take a value for x. It can be 1, minus 1, 0, minus 2, any value we can take. So I am taking p of x equal to 0. 3x plus 6, p of x equal to 0. So therefore 3, 0 plus 6. Then it will be 0 plus 6 equal to 6. Now let's take p of x equal to 2. 3, 2 plus 6. So it will be 6 plus 6. Therefore, 12. Now let's take p of x equal to minus 2. 3 minus 2 plus 6 equal to minus 6 plus 6. So it will be 0. So do you see when we take different values for x, the value of the polynomial keeps changing. So that we can say that the value of the polynomial keeps changing with the value of x. So the same way we can take a look for the quadratic polynomial. x square plus 2x minus 8. So it will be x square plus 4 minus minus 2x minus 8. So it will be x x plus 4 and minus 2x minus 4 x plus 4 x plus 4 1 term x minus 2 1 term. So it will be these are the two linear polynomials. So x plus 4 equal to 0. So x will be equal to minus 4. x minus 2 equal to 0. Therefore x will be 2. So the same way let's do the cubic polynomial. So 1x cube minus 3 x square minus 2x minus 6. So it will be x square x minus 3 and minus 2 x minus 3 equal to 0. So it will be x minus 3 and x square minus 2 equal to 0. So it will be x minus 3 1 then x square minus root 2 then x square plus root 2 equal to 0. These are the three linear polynomials. So it will be x minus 3 equal to 0 therefore x equal to 3 x square minus root 2 equal to 0. Therefore, x square equal to 2 minus root 2. x minus plus root 2 equal to 0. Therefore, x square equal to minus root 2. So, when we look the zeros, the zeros for linear polynomial are minus 2, 12 and 6. When we look the zeros for quadratic polynomial, it is minus 4 or 2. When we look the zeros for cubic, 
it is minus 3 sorry plus 3 minus root 2 and root 2. So we all know that the linear polynomial depend on the x here. So let's take an example 2x plus 6. So if we take any value for x it can be 0 plus 6. The value depend on the x here right. The same way it depend on the coefficient here because these two are multiplied together. So we can say that there is a kind of relationship that exists between the zeros of the polynomial and the coefficient of the polynomial. So what is it? Let's take a look. So in the first case which was a linear polynomial 3x plus equal to 0. When we were finding the zeros for 3x plus 6 we actually did was in terms of in terms of minus 6 by 3 if we take a close look this one this minus 6 is nothing but a, co a constant and 3 is nothing but a coefficient of x so with this relationship we can state any linear polynomial and find the zeros it is easy to use this method so if we can just take a look for any linear polynomial and state that what is its zeros so we can do a question in any linear polynomial that is in the form of ax plus b so 3x plus 6 equal to 0 this is ax and this is b so the relation would be minus b by a so how do we find any zeros for linear polynomial we first say that what is a and b so let's take another example of second case which was a quadratic polynomial x plus 4 equal to 0 so this is ax this is b so it will be minus 4 by 1 here by uh, value will be 1 so the other example x minus 2 equal to 0 so this is a of x and this is b so it will be minus b by a so it will be minus 2 minus 2 by 1 it will be 2 but for linear polynomial we could only have one zero of the polynomial if we have more than one zero there will be a variation in the coefficient and the zeros so now we are going to the next section which is the polynomial division so here x into x equal to x square so it will be x so x square then x into 7 equal to 7x so here it will be plus 7x here it will be minus here also it will be minus so it will be 0 here plus and minus so it will be 3x plus 21 so 3 into x equal to 3x 3 into 7 equal to 21 so here it is plus okay 3 it will be 3x plus 3 into 7 21 here it will be minus here it will be minus so minus so plus and minus it will be cut here also plus and minus it will be so therefore it will be 0 so the answer is x plus 3. So now we are going to do another question. So the question is question 2. x minus 1 8x cube minus 10x square minus plus plus x minus x plus 3. So here it will be 8x square into x equal to 8x cube. So 
Then here it will be plus 8x square. So it will be minus, cut here also minus, so it will be minus 2x square minus x plus 3. So minus 2x, so it will be minus 2x square. 0 plus 3x plus 3. So it will be plus 3. Plus 3 equal to 3x minus x. So the answer will be 8x square minus 2x minus 3. So guys, hope you like this video. Hope it helped. So thank you for watching this video. Bye-bye.